everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy, and I'm here with a weekly message of the Divine Feminine to our beloved for the week of February 5 to 11. Okay, so as always, I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them, and at the bottom of the deck, and usually the bottom of the deck represents the energies of the Divine Feminine, and then this is her message, okay? We have here the High Priestess. And the high priestess, uh, she's uh, she's like the gatekeeper between the mundane and the esoteric, the metaphysical, and all things divine. Okay, so she's holding here, um, really guarding this gate uh, and trusting that things will be made known at the proper time. Okay, because when this esoteric wisdom is given as uh, each of you may have experienced in your journey it really comes in trickles it's not handed to you on a silver platter you, first you have to ask and then uh, the answers come but in your ascension journey uh, they come a little at a, at, at a time and each one each piece of information seems to be building on the next one that you will receive and preparing you to receive uh, the information that you need for the next stage of your journey and so here she is the divine feminine uh, trusting in divine timing and here we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is a nurturing practical energy which also appeared in the Twin Flame weekly reading, okay? And this is very nurturing, a motherly energy, and very practical. Uh, this kind of energy is that, you know, getting things done, making sure that um, everything is in order, okay? Uh, because with all the effects uh, of the energies and the residual effects of um, the, trans the transformative energies, okay, of uh, this eclipse and, you know, the shift into 5D, a lot of things have been displaced. Uh, and, you know, that's all in order because some things have got to go um, and the Divine Feminine needs to assess which ones they are. And this is all part of her doing something practical uh, in order to adapt to all these changing energies. And then here, this is justice. This is as a result of all this um, working to get things in balance again so that it can, you know, run smoother. And uh, so she can get back in a place where she's able to give again and receive likewise. Okay, because, you know, if things aren't in order within yourself and you aren't in balance, it is very difficult to give what you do not have, to share and impart what you do not have. And, you know, that's why it's um, everybody's responsibility. And light workers, star seeds, and twin flames especially, to make sure that, you know, if they go off the path, off-center, which sometimes cannot be helped because we all have to deal with other energies that we come into contact with, that you recognize that, that you have been thrown off kilter, and come back and be centered. Because uh, we have missions to fulfill. Okay? And see there, uh, this is the disappointment. Uh, at not being able to do that because uh, a lot of things have to be coped with. And here, uh, once this disappointment is um, resolved, negotiated, and transmuted, then she gets back again to creating the third energy on her own. Okay? And a little bit about the third energy. Um, like I said, your twin doesn't have to be physically there. This is something that uh, both twins aspire to create 
as much as possible individually and later on when you do your combined mission with your twin then those um, this energy is further amplified to benefit uh, your soul family, your soul group, and of course the planet. Okay, so those are the energies of the Divine Feminine. As for her message, okay, the first card we have here is the Knight of Wands. And here, the way this knight is depicted, this is a very impetuous energy. It's uh, very assertive, even aggressive, okay? wanting to move forward you can see both the rider and the horse are actually staring uh it, it seems like they're staring at you from this card <clears throat> so this is a very direct in your face energy and wanting to confront okay the next card that we have here is the wheel of fortune okay and the wheel of fortune um and you know this the wheel of fortune has been appearing in all the readings and this pertains to this movement this energy of moving forward uh, regardless of the obstacles and here this here is um because right now remember this is the energy of the divine masculine and he wants this wheel of fortune to move already it's not a question anymore of him wanting it or not Okay, because right now the obstacles are pointing to practical matters of how he's going to go about that. Okay, uh, and the resistance is external. But there, this, this is moving forward in accordance with destiny. And the card that we have here is the King of Pentacles. And this is... Um, the King of Pentacles, it has come up again and again and again, and I promise I really shuffle the cards before I draw them and pray over them, but still it's coming up, okay? So, uh, King of Pentacles here, uh, wanting to manifest this in 3D, uh, wanting to take care of... Um, all the practicalities, the logistics, everything. He's like the benevolent manager, making sure that every, all the employees have what they need to get their jobs done. Okay? And the next card we have for the Divine Masculine, for, um, I mean, the message of the Divine Feminine, rather, is the Four of Cups. Now, this Four of Cups really points to, um, because it is Cups, uh, emotions. But then again, the Four represents, and you see this picture of the moon here, uh, and you don't know if it's waning or waxing. It's like right in the middle of the face. And then you have this waterfall. And this points to um, instability in the emotions, kind of like fluctuations, okay? Of fluctuating emotions because of all these things that are happening to the Divine Masculine. Um, you know, one day he loses, um, you know, the fire has gone out because, you know, it seems that it, this is too hard, it's too complicated. And the next day he feels, he feels that, feeling that he is in love with this person. But it fluctuates because, because of all these external um, influences. And the last card that we have here is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands here, this is... Um, really the willpower is a very strong force this is a this is the leadership card taking the bull by the horns and with leadership uh also comes self-sacrifice i don't know if you have found yourselves in positions of leadership but really uh you think of the greater good you think of the um, the good uh, the the welfare of everybody that's under your care and sometimes um, you you have to sacrifice a bit of yourself whether that's um, less time spent on doing the things that you want to do um, because you have to use that time 
to coach somebody so that they can help or to counsel somebody so that they can get on with their journey. So this this card involves um, that sacrifice. But despite that, um, there is that will to go further, to carry on, to power through. Okay? So, um, very quickly, before I summarize the message, okay, let's pick clarifying cards. Okay. Okay. For the Knight of Wands. Okay. See here, this is theft. This is loss. And this is saying that um, this momentum, this, this, this fiery uh, moving forward without regard of um, obstacles and um, without regard of everything that you, you, you might possibly trample on, um, this is something that, well, this is basically advice from the Divine Feminine to her beloved to uh, not really lose the, that, that fiery spirit, but the, that edge, okay, that edge of wanting to go through, um, tone it down, okay, for the Wheel of Fortune, okay, this is abundance, okay, and that's saying, because this is harvest, you harvest the grapes, and usually, um, there, there are usually festivals when it's time to harvest the grapes uh, and usually you stomp on the grapes and that's part of the 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 festival okay so that um, you can turn it into wine so this is the horde of plenty with grapes here and what this is saying is that once the wheel turns then everything that you the divine masculine has worked for it's going to um, come to fruition for the king of pentacles okay see here this is uh, again networking uh, networking in his efforts to uh, it's like looking for assistance there are other people who can help him uh, whether smoothing out a situation, getting over those hurdles, those obstacles, because it is external. So uh, other people necessarily have to be involved, but they almost have to be on the same page. And this is discussing, negotiating it, okay? Negotiating, discussing, talking it through so that people are on the same page. And the, the King of Pentacles, which would be the Divine Masculine, can actually manifest what he wants. Because what he wants is now clear. But uh, he has to talk it over with some other people here that are involved in the situation. Whether that's his karmic, his lawyers, I don't know, um, his family members. <coughs> Excuse me. For the Four of Cups. Okay. See, these are his emotions as regards the Divine Feminine. Okay, they fluctuate sometimes. Because uh, sometimes, like I said, he loses heart because of the situation. Even if he wants to go forward so much. Uh, this is theft. Sometimes... Uh, he can't do it because it, that that opportunity is taken away from him because of uh, other circumstances okay and here and that's causing him to his feelings to fluctuate not about her but you know when you get disappointed about the situation and you say oh god this is too hard okay so anyway for the ace of wands okay so this is the part, okay? These are messages. The birds represent messages. And um, here, the messages are that, look, um, you're here. 
keep that vigorous spirit, the leadership. But then again, it will require some sacrifice. And that's, um, uh, this is waiting for the right time. Because here, you know, when birds, um, usually birds, where do they flock? We don't get a lot of birds here. I mean, not in flocks, because I live in a tropical country. Uh, they're usually just in the trees, you know. Um, and they don't, you know, uh, really... Uh, it, it was only when I was in the U.S. that you, you can really see flocks of birds flying in a certain direction. Well, uh, I think birds fly south for winter. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's it. You follow uh, the... When there are things that, that um, what am I trying to say? What I'm saying is that there is a proper time for everything. Birds fly south in the winter because uh, the place that they're in um, cannot help them survive in the winter. So they have to go further south, which is warmer, a more temperate climate for them to in order to be able to thrive. But these birds, they go with the season, okay? You cannot just force your way, and this is what the Divine Feminine is telling her beloved, that you cannot just force your way into a situation and, um, and railroad everything because uh, it would be better if if you follow um, the proper timing, okay? And she's also saying in the same breath that, that, wait, no, let me summarize first so that it's more understood. Okay, Divine Feminine telling her beloved that um, while he is raring to go, okay, this... Um, Without regard of the consequences attitude, of course, um, he has to temper it down. Because the wheel of fortune will turn anyway, okay? Um, and all these things that he has got planned will manifest. And she's also telling him that in the midst of all these obstacles, and while his emotions might fluctuate, uh, to... To not worry, because here, the Ace of Wands says that he will move forward to this new beginning. But because of the clarifying cards, that has to be done uh, at the most opportune moment. Okay? So, there. That's the message of the Divine Feminine to her beloved. Um who finds himself, if you watch the Twin Flame Weekly reading, uh, quite really somewhat despondent because things are not going his way as regards his journey to his beloved. Okay, so that's what I have for you. And for the love month, since this is the month of February, I do have on offer the Love Booster. Okay, do check it out on my website. The Love Booster is 30 minutes of Reiki with Divine Codes to enhance the unity and connection between twin flames for the love that flows between hearts to be unimpeded and to flow both ways to make love new again, and of course, uh, for those who haven't met their twin or would like um, um, to meet a romantic partnership, uh, romantic partner rather, um, there are codes to increase the likelihood of forming a romantic relationship. Of course, if that is uh, included in your, and permitted in your life script. So do check that out uh, and see if you need it. And um, as always, um, Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.